Hello and welcome to your eighth R tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some more basic vector operations. So to get started I'm going to create a couple of vectors. I'm going to create a next vector and this is going to be a vector of even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, then to the console and I'm going to create another vector called y and this one I'll make this a little bit different. It's still going to be integers but 7, 8, 3, 1 send it to the console. Okay, so there's some situations that pop up when we're manipulating vectors or uh, or, or trying to form, perform calculations with vectors. One of the situations that pop up is, let's say we want to perform an operation on the entire vector and get a scalar as a result. Uh, and let me, let me give you a little bit more concrete example. Let's say we want to take a particular vector and add all the results together. Is that possible to do in R? Yes, in fact it's very easy. In other programming languages you might have to do a loop, uh, write a loop to be able to do that, like a for loop or a while loop or something like that. Uh, in R there's a lot of built-in functions that make it not really necessary to to always have to write a loop like that. There is a built-in sum function in R, sum, left parentheses, and you put the vector inside. In this case, let's say I want to sum all the uh, elements in X together. I'll send it to the console, and there you go. Let's say we want to take the mean of all the entries in, in a particular vector. In this case, let's me, let me take the uh, mean of Y and uh, send it to the console. And, well, the answer that we get is 4.75. Uh, let's check and make sure that we got the right answer. 7 plus 8, plus 3, plus 1. The answer is indeed 19. And 19 divided by 4, 4 elements, is 4.75. So the, we got the answer that uh, we normally would have expected. Now, it's impossible for me to go through every single one of these built-in functions. Uh, what I would recommend at this point is to consult the R documentation, uh, look at uh, information on R online. There's a lot of really great resources on where to find information on different functions. And in fact, I'm going to include a link to an R cheat sheet that has a lot of great uh, functions uh, on there, including functions for manipulating vectors. So there's a lot of different resources out there to help you learn a lot of these different functions. I can't show you them all here, but this is hopefully enough to get you started and uh, hopefully I'm pointing you in the right direction to get uh, get more help on all of these functions. Okay, so in this case we did an operation on a vector um, and we got a scalar as a, we got a scalar as a result. In other words, we took an entire vector, group of numbers, we performed an operation and we got a single number in return. But let's say we want to perform an operation on a vector and get a vector as a result. Um, that's definitely possible to do in R2. In fact, it's very easy to do. Let's say I want to take that X vector and let's say I want to multiply all the elements by two. How would I do that? Well, again, oftentimes in other languages, what you would have to do is you'd have to write some sort of loop like a for loop or a while loop. In R, you don't need to do that. Uh, to multiply all the entries by two is as simple as writing two times the vector. And R is able to figure out at that point you want to take all the entries in that x vector and multiply them by 2. I'll send it to the console and we'll take a look at the results. Well, our original x vector was 2, 4, 6, 8. And when we double it, each of the entries, they become 4, 8, 12, and 16. I was able to figure out just fine. Uh, other oper operations you can do is you can perform addition as well. So let's take that y vector and add, uh, let's say, add 3. y plus 3. I'll send it to the console. Well, our original uh, y vector was, well, the first entry was 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. We can see that first entry and the result there is 10. The second entry, 8 plus 3, is 11. That first entry, that second entry in the result down in the console is 11. And so on down the list. So uh, if you want to perform an operation on an entire, uh, uh, on an entire vector like this, it's very easy to do in R. You can even do uh, some uh, somewhat more complicated. I don't I don't know if it, if it's really that complicated, but if you want to perform uh, uh, an operation on two vectors in R, 
uh, that's easy to do as well. Let's say we want to take that, that entry that we have on top, that x vector, and let's say we want to add it to that y vector. And when I, what I mean by adding them together is I want to take that first x entry and add it to the first y entry, take that second x entry and add it to the second y entry, all the way down the list, and my, I want my result to be a vector of length 4. So add the first position together, add the second position together, the third positions, and the fourth positions. To do that in R is trivial, in fact. You just write x plus y. I'll send it to the console, and we'll check our work. Okay, so the first entry in that x vector is the number 2. The first entry in that y vector is the number 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. We can see the result down there on the console is 9. Let's check the second entry. The first entry, the second entry in that x vector is 4. The second entry in the y vector is 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. And if you, we look down at the console, that's indeed the answer that we got. Uh, you can also perform multiplication as well. Let's say we want to um, multiply uh, these two vectors. And when I say multiply the vectors, I want to take the first entry first entries of the two vectors, multiply them together. The second entry, second entries of the vectors, multiply them. That'll be the second entry of the result, and so on down the line. To do that, it's probably what you're expecting at this point, x times y. I'll send it to the console. And down there on the bottom, well, let's check. Uh, we'll only check one at this point. I'll let you guys check the rest. But the first entry of that x vector is 2. The first entry of the y vector is 7. 2 times 7 is 14. We got the right answer. I'll let you guys check the rest. But uh, in any way, in any case, I think you can see at this point that it's very, very easy in R to perform some of these, to perform a lot of these uh, manipulations on your data uh, where it might be tedious or cumbersome in a lot of other languages. R, simply put, is really great at handling data like this. So we've really only just scratched the surface on how powerful uh, R can be. Where it shows even greater power is when we're manipulating and playing around with entire data sets. Not, the, not just uh, single vectors like this, but entire blocks of data. And that's what we're going to go over in the next lesson. So R can do a lot more of vectors. I definitely haven't shown you in everything. I'll point you, in the, point you towards some other documentation. But next lesson, I want to jump into... Uh, data sets and what they're called within R, they're called data frames, and I'll show you guys uh, some interesting stuff with that. So that's all I have for you for now, and I see you, I'll see you guys next time.